Monday night, The Voice top eight performances showed America everything the remaining contenders have left in the tank on NBC. Only four would survive, making this the mother of all results shows. So who would outlast the rest and who would fall by the wayside? In The Voice's ever-changing, never uninteresting format. Three artists of the final eight automatically advanced to the finale, while the bottom two were eliminated right off the bat Tuesday night. That left the remaining three artists had to battle it out for the instant save, so in that way it ended on the same note as previous weeks. The first artist to advance to the season 12 finale, as per the voice results unveiled last night, was, Team Alicia's Chris Blue. Chris secured his second consecutive four-coach standing ovation the previous night, so that it was hardly a surprise, or a fluke. Next up and on her way to the final episode of the season was Team Blake's Lauren Dusky. A job very well done by the singer. Carson Daly then announced the results that sent a third artist straight through to next week, Team Blake's Salia Molden. And then there were six. After Team Blake's Soul and Team Alicia's Vanessa Ferguson were both eliminated just like that. That left the fans with the following three. 1. Team Adam's Jesse Larson. 2. Team Gwen's Hunter Blake. 3. Team Gwen's Brenly Brown. Three singers, one spot and one song. Brown performed Demi Lovato's Warrior putting her own stamp on it and showcasing the range of talent that got her to this point. Blake performed Love Runs Out by One Republic, with some creativity that many felt was lacking from his performance Monday. Larson performed Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton, and his impressive vocals were enough to earn those coveted tweets. Jesse advanced to the finale, keeping Team Adam's hopes alive and eliminating Team Gwen in one fell swoop. So the field is set.